Hello and welcome to a pro patch breakdown here at LOL Class. Let's take a look at this week's changes. So these attack range changes, some are pretty minor, but some are actually really crucial. Such as the Meganar one, that's kind of nice. The Nunu one, you probably won't be able to tell much of a difference just because he's always faster than the opponent. The Shivana one will for sure be really good. 50 range is a huge amount, so maybe we'll see her more. And Scion one, not that important. Tom Kench, it doesn't look like that it's that important, but it actually is just because autos work well with his kit so much by, let's say you get another auto off, you can stun him possibly or eat him that much faster. So it's actually pretty huge. And then Trundle and Zack, these seem minor, but again, 50 range is so large that they'll probably be played way more often just because of this. So this uh, bard change, it basically meant to do it earlier i think riot just forgot actually which is pretty funny but now it'll make his uh early going into lane a lot better how it was before basically and you can hit level two way faster with the zillion passive the uh, this buff will make it um more reliable the other one was a little lackluster so they basically just buffed it and hopefully now he'll be able to get the champion to its next power spike faster and more often and hopefully um it'll become viable just because Zillion's a really fun champ, and he has really unique abilities, so I would like to see him in competitive play. Death Timers are now longer early game, so between 10 and 43 minutes, they're early. They're longer than they were before, and then after 43 minutes, they're actually less than before. Um, I think the maximum Death Timer has stayed the same, but overall, like, it just makes it more punishing to die mid-game. As for the 480s, if they change, change this patch, um, I'm going to start with Ash, where they changed her Q to work with Renons. They nerfed Shiv, and that was a decent option before, but now like Renons is going to be for sure the best uh, attack speed crit item on Ash. It just synergizes with her kit, like it'll stack her Q, and uh, when you do proc your Q, you'll be able to use it with Renons. And that's like such a big incentive to now play Ash, and then now she's going to be like a monster in team fighting with Renons. Um, the second AD that they changed was Caitlyn and this really small change, they like reduce the falloff damage on her Q by 7%. You're, you're not even able to notice this, like it's just a really really tiny change to Caitlyn. It is a buff overall, and I think it was, I thought it was unnecessary because she was already so strong. And also like random change, they made it so she didn't say boom headshot like every 5 seconds. Um, Lucian they kind of nerfed pretty hard, they nerfed his base AD which is pretty huge, and also they nerfed his culling and the way that it scales, and the way that it does base damage, so it just does so much less damage overall. I think people will be able to notice this super quickly because before you would just one-shot people with calling, and now it, it's so much less strong than it was before. Um, lastly, they nerfed MF. They changed her base health uh, by nerfing it by 48. That is actually a lot of base health. Um, and they nerfed their attack speed on her W, which actually is a lot less big of a deal. It's only 20% less attack speed at rank 5, so... Probably won't be able to notice 20% attack speed, honestly, but the base health is a pretty big deal. They changed Quinn's passive a little bit by adding a base value to the damage, but nerfing the ratio early. So basically what that does is just equalizes Quinn's damage and probably makes it a lot stronger late game. I mean, once you level 18, it'll be doing 105 more damage than it did before because um, the ratio scales up to back to what it was. Uh, and having base damage on her passive just makes her... Like, I guess a lot less reliant on items, and having higher base damage is always nice. And the biggest change is definitely to her Q, which it used to blind, if you remember, before this patch. And now it kind of does again. It's kind of like a mini smoke screen that just um, reduces the vision of everyone that you hit. And probably really frustrating to play against, because if you get traded on by Q, then you won't be able to trade back, because you can't see, unless you're just going to like guess and then throw your skill shot somewhere. Also, um, maybe like Jungle Queen will be decent, or maybe not, because you can blind slash like neutralize minions and monsters now. So doing like jungle camps and killing big waves is going to be a lot easier. But they did take away the the refund when you kill an enemy, and they took away also the increased damage, like the execute part, and they compensated by increasing the damage of the ability overall, and also increasing the scaling. Shiv got nerfed pretty bad. Uh, they nerfed the damage all around, and then they capped the damage at the same that it was previously. 
but they compensated a little bit by increasing damage against minions, which I'm just going to say right now is super bad. Um, it actually doesn't change anything that they increase the damage on minions because wave clear is not a big problem that ADs have. Um, actually, there's no reason to buy it anymore because it's just overall a weaker item than it was before the patch hit. So before when you bought Static Shiv, it would do the 100 damage flat right away. And now it does the 100 damage only once you hit level 18, which is super crap. Um, you should pretty much only be getting Fire Cannon now, or Root on Hurricane, or even PD over this item. So I just expect people will be buying this item a lot less. Mord's Q used to have exponential scaling, so it used to be the first hit times 1, the second hit times 3, the third hit times 9. Um, now they did the first hit times 3, the second hit times 3, and the third hit times 6. So overall it's a pretty big buff, but you won't be able to like do that sick one shot where you just uh, double auto and then third auto flash, you know, flash Q ignite. That's probably never going to work anymore. Um, but he's still going to do insane damage. I think overall they buffed his entire kit. So his W has more activation damage. His E um, scales better now that you have, like, his E was always a thing that you maxed last. But once you get to level 18 and you hit four champs, you'll be getting 100% of your, of your shield. Um, his ulti now scales with your dragon it it's less good early by like a really marginal amount but it's way better later um i think that's pretty cool I, like overall they kind of gutted him when they changed his exp rate and that was like the big reason why everyone was picking him and banning him in competitive play but now it seems like he's just like a lot more well-balanced sort of champion and you might be able to even play him in a solo lane so Lowie just got announced and she looks to be a big bruiser or tank side sort of champion um, probably being played in the top in jungle. Uh, I saw some videos on the PvE about her jungle clear, which looks really good because all of her abilities are AoE. And I also saw top lane is like pretty insane that you can just zone all of your opponents away from the wave with um, little tentacles. So she's probably going to be OP on release, just like every champion kind of has been. Um, and yeah, I mean, she looks to be really strong. So the champion kills changes pretty much means that before people, after they got a kill when they're even levels, the person that got killed would get way more EXP than usual. So like, say they're both level 6, the person got a kill, then he'll be like level 7, almost level 8 now, and the other person would come back being super under leveled. And whenever they get killed, they'll just like get 4 level disadvantage at one point. And this change pretty much prevents that from happening now so like when the 80 carry is like level 9 the top lane won't be like level 14 or 15 anymore so this pretty much just makes it so that the level difference isn't that big anymore but it'll still be enough for to help win the game i think with the home guard changes to making it so that at 20 minutes you get home guard and then removing the home guard boots people are going to be able to go to lanes a lot quicker now i think it's just to stop the snowballing after death and you don't have to buy anymore, so pretty much everyone's going to be fast after 20 minutes. The unit collision, they changed it so that champions now don't have a model size anymore and you can walk through or around easier. And the minions, they made it so that when they're like stacking or running through together, you can path through them now easier. And just they just made it so that you can walk around uh, uh, without getting blocked that hard anymore. I think it'll make it easier for champions to walk around and last hit in lane for melees since usually you get like creep blocked a lot and you can't run through the creeps but now with this change you can run through creeps and go for a last hit instead of running all around them or like when you're trying to kill someone and there's a big wave and you can't walk through creeps you have to walk around so it'll make it easier for you to last hit or go for kills. With the turret changes, making it so that auto turret and inner turret increase by like 500 health, 3500 to 4000. This makes it so that maybe after dying to a gank, uh, you won't be able to lose your turret or like solo dying to someone and just losing turret. Uh, you won't lose your turret earlier or super fast anymore and that in change won't snowball to like losing turret top to losing turret mid and bot. So it pretty much just to prevent snowballing and try to make it so that uh, the early lane or turrets last longer. Gunso's Rage Blade is getting nerfed. They're increasing the cost by like 300 gold, 775 to 1075 for the combined cost. 
I think that's a pretty big nerf since it was really cheap before. Now 300 gold is like a huge amount that will make it possibly not be, or people won't buy it anymore. You buy it from there onwards is also pretty strong. Overall, I'd say that he is a very decent pick right now, especially with all the auto attack reliant champions with Rage Blade going around. Um, so he's definitely one of the best.